It's the Chris Han Daily Rant. Welcome back to the Daily Rant. I am your host, Chris Hahn, at Christopher Hahn on X, Christopher Hahn NY on Instagram, and ChristopherHahn.com. Watch me on News Nation. I'm on all the time. I'll be on later today. I'll be on tomorrow. Uh, I will be on uh, Friday, maybe. I am actually the backup host. There's a remote uh, shoot going on, and they need somebody in the studio just in case the feed goes down, and I will be sitting in the studio uh, waiting for my moment in the sun to host the broadcast. Uh, A very handsome man, Leland Vitter, is the actual host of that show, and if they come back and see my mug, uh, people may be very surprised uh, or shocked or, or repelled. I don't know. I mean, I do have a face for radio, which is why uh, you listen to me here on the radio. But uh, I am still, you know, clawing away in the television field. And maybe one day I will actually have my chance to host a regular show. Uh, I'm working on it. I'm getting there. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. By the way, happy Valentine's Day, uh, America. I know that I am uh, uh, going to be taking my lovely wife out to dinner tonight. I'm sure you're all uh, doing something with people you love. And if you don't have anybody to love, uh, I'm just going to say it to you right now. I love you. So uh, I love you. Uh, I love this country. And I love that you're listening to my show right now. So thank you for that. Uh, And again, happy Valentine's Day. You know, in in his victory speech last night, Tom Suozzi said, it's time for Republicans in Washington to stop running around for Trump and start running the country. I think those were very, very, a a very good statement to make and words that should be heeded, right? Um, And I, I, I am, I'm confident that this immigration battle that we have ahead of us for the election, because the Republicans don't really want to have an immigration battle on policy, right? I think that the fact that they allowed Donald Trump to kill that immigration deal will really hurt them in that message. And and there were I was very surprised that Republicans in swing districts didn't speak out in favor of the deal more than they did. I I am surprised by that. Because again, this is the issue they want to run on. And, and again, I think they think they're holding it and trying to be too cute by half and saying, no, it doesn't go far enough. Again, it was negotiated by James Langford, a very conservative senator from the state of Oklahoma, rated the second most conservative member of the U.S. Senate by CPAC. Not exactly a liberal think tank, CPAC. Yet there they go. Donald Trump says he wants the... He wants the issue for the election. He says it out loud, America. So, so let me just let me just tee you up for the rest of the day. If you're planning on listening to conservative radio the rest of the day, call in and ask the host, who's probably going to ignore what happened on Long Island last night. Ask them why they think they could run on immigration yet block immigration deals. Ask them why they lost on immigration on Long Island. And believe me, if you're not on Long Island, I have a lot of listeners on Long Island. If you're not on Long Island and you're listening to this broadcast right now, this issue was the only issue the Republicans ran on. They didn't run on anything else. At the end, they tried to throw in that he was too high of a taxing person. But that was like the last week because they were losing Ask yourself the question. They ran, I mean, $15 million of ads saying that Tom Swazi was responsible for the immigration crisis, which he's not. <laughs> he was not. Tom Swazi had to combat that, and he did. Raise the question to all the hosts on the air today and tomorrow, and actually forever, because this is all they want to talk about. If this is really a problem, why not do something about it? Why not have a compromise that was brought to you by James Langford and Kirsten Sinema, who's not even a Democrat anymore. She's a registered independent from a border state. Why block it? Well, you know, we know why. They said the quiet part out loud. 
They won't get a better deal with Trump. They will not. And executive orders will not solve the problem either. We, we all know that a lot of Trump's executive orders were shot down by the courts and were not actually in effect. We also know that the numbers that they throw out to you about Trump's migration, about immigration during Trump, are average numbers that include days where nobody crossed the border during COVID because nobody was leaving their house. And by the way, we had a pretty bad COVID problem in the United States, probably worse than some of those Southern countries. And they decided not to die, come here and die. So, so, you know, let's refresh. Donald Trump wants to ignore the fourth year of his presidency, except for when it comes to his immigration numbers. He wants to average them into the rest of his immigration numbers. If you, if you take out the fourth year, which is what he wants to do with everything else he does, it's almost the same. It's about 6,000 a day, but he doesn't want to tell you that. And the guys you're listening to on the air, they don't want to tell you that either because it's the exact same thing. In fact, I remember, I remember the 2018 midterms when there was a caravan coming to the U S and you better not, better not vote for Democrats or they're all going to come in. They tried it again in 2020 and 2022, the caravan. No, no caravan ever made it here. It was just hype. A lot of people still try to come here. Thank God. They think we're a better place to be. When they stop coming, then it's time to to worry. Happy Valentine's Day, America. I love you. I'm Chris Hahn, and that's The Daily Rant. You've been listening to The Chris Hahn Daily Rant. For more Chris, tune in Monday through Friday at noon 